But when I first started running, I used music for all of my runs. It's what got me pumped up. It's what energized me to start my run. And it's what got me through those tough miles at the end of a run. Now, about a year ago, after I finished the Charlotte Marathon, I decided to stop running with music. I found for me, there's some key benefits, both physically and mentally to running without music. So I'm gonna share my experience with this and let you know how running with music might be able to help you improve your running. All right guys, so before we start today, if you haven't checked out the Running Shoe Matcher tool yet, go to runningshoematcher.com. This is a really cool tool I built that matches you with the best shoe for you based on your goals and preferences. You answer five questions. What kind of shoe do you want? Do you like your shoes soft or firm? What race are you training for? Do you need stability or not? And we will match you with the best shoe for you. It's free and it's live right now. You can check it out at runningshoematcher.com. All right, let's get into it. So in terms of my running background, before I started running really, I was a big lifter. So anytime I would go to the gym, I would either be listening to the music on the speakers or more often than not be curating my own playlist and listening to my hype music in the gym. So my background with exercise, working out, fitness, it was all powered by music. I am a huge rap fan. Anybody who knows me even in the slightest will know that. I can give you a ton of rap recommendations. You know what, what I'm listening to right now, West Side Gun's new album, PZ's new album, I just started listening to today also a ton of currency and larry june over the summer that's besides the point i'm a huge music fan so it was a big decision for me to stop running with music now, as I mentioned in the intro, there are really two main categories of benefits here. The first is mental benefits and the second are physical benefits. So I'll go over some of these benefits with you here, but the high level that I'd like you to take away in thinking about this is how you can control your environment and also have more control over the stimulus and what's needed to get you out the door to run and to execute well on run. So for me, music used to be one of those things that got me out of the door to run and I started viewing it as another crutch almost when I quit it. So that's one of the things I'd like you to consider. What's helping you to run and what are those crutches that maybe you're leaning on too much? So the first main benefit I found when I stopped running with music was that it allowed me to be more present in my runs. Now, as I've mentioned in some of my other videos, I have a family, I have two kids at home, my wife is pregnant with our third, I have a full-time job in addition to what I do with Supwell and this video content, and I'm also in business school. So I'm more often than not in front of a screen of some sort, just deep into emails, phone, Slack, just a bunch of craziness, assignments, work, whatever it is. So having some time to be without technology and to be present with a run and to enjoy the beautiful weather outside. I mean, you can't see it here. You just see my black background, but outside today, it's about 65 degrees, clear blue skies. The grass is green as ever. Running without music allowed me to remove that technology, allowed me to remove some of that external stimulus and just focus on the internal and also on more of my immediate environment. I found that running with music could sometimes allow me to be wrapped up in the music I was listening to and not allow me to listen to my own thoughts, not allow me to enjoy the scenery around me, not allow me to take my little animal senses, which if you follow me on Strava, sometimes you'll see, I'll count how many deer and dogs and turtle I pass. So running in that silence just allowed me to enjoy more of that run and what was around me. Now, the corollary to this is that if you're running on a treadmill for a lot of your runs, you might not want to be so immersed in your environment. So that is a time that I have to note here. I do still run with music or a podcast or whatever it is. When I'm on the treadmill most of the time, I will pop in that rap playlist, listen to some Larry June, Currency, PZ, whatever's on the rotation right then to, again, get immersed in that experience and remove myself from the dirty, dingy gym environment that I'm in. The second key mental benefit here is focus. Now, this is especially important when thinking about structured training. And when I started taking my structured training a lot more seriously is also when I started transitioning away from using music. I found when I was running with a specific purpose on my run, it was a lot easier for me to focus on my paces, my breathing, my heart rate, my cadence, whatever it was for that run without the distraction of music. Again, sometimes music can be a very helpful and a good distraction. Maybe you wanna get out of your head. Maybe you don't want to be immersed in your environment environment if you're in a gym, but sometimes it can be a bad distraction if we're trying to execute well on a workout and we need to hit prescribed paces, or say we're marathon training, we wanna learn how that race pace feels during a tempo run. Music could just be another distraction that takes us away from learning the core principle of that run. 
The third benefit I've found when I stopped listening to music on runs is that I'm not dependent on that music anymore for hype. Now with some of those big tough workouts of marathon training, my key workout last year was two reps of five miles at marathon race pace inside of a 20 mile run. With a workout like that, I'd be bumping some aggressive trap music to get me into the zone and to keep me hype during those tough sections of the workout. Now, I mean, maybe I'll be listening to the music in my head. I'll be reciting some lyrics that can keep me going, but without that music, I have to find something within myself that's not external like that music to rev my engine up and to help me execute. I personally think this breeds a lot of mental toughness when I'm relying on myself instead of external stimuli to be able to crank it up. And there are huge benefits from that that transcend just running, right? When I hit any tough patch of life, yes, I can just pull out my phone and my earbuds and put on my music, but I would rather be able to think it out and to gut it out with mental toughness and thinking internally about what the best next step is and thinking internally about how I can dig deep. When I don't have music on, I can do that much better and I can execute on those workouts much better. Now, conversely, running without music also allows me to stay more relaxed. Because I like listening to upbeat, up-tempo, aggressive rap music, sometimes I found that even on easy runs or recovery runs, aerobic pace runs, when I was running with music, I would want to progress the pace a little bit too much just because I was listening to music that got me jazzed and got me into it. And so running without music allowed me to be much more comfortable running at slower paces and easing into those recovery runs. Those are two, two sides of the same coin, right? On one side, the music can hype us up and can get us into the workout, but it can also detract from our experience by distracting us. And it can also hype us up too much when we don't want to be hyped up for a run. All right guys, the last reason, and I mentioned this a little bit in the intro, is that without running with music, I'm less dependent on gear, tech, external things. There were some times where I would take a drive to the Greenway when I used to run with music. If I forgot my headphones or if I forgot my phone or something, I felt like the run was completely broken because I didn't have that music that I needed as a crutch to run. So the fewer things that you need to have a good run, the better. There are benefits to running with water and gels and all of that when you're doing marathon training, but if you start to rely on those external items every time for running, for me, one, it detracts from the fun of it. I love the simplicity of the sport and running without music and running without gear allows me to do that. But two, it also means you need to bring those things every time you go on a run. So if you're in a foreign environment and you don't have those things, then your enjoyment of the run is gonna be a whole lot lower. Or sometimes you maybe you'll say, okay, I forgot my headphones. I can't even go on this run. So running without music allows me to be a lot more self-sufficient, similar to how I don't really run with water unless I'm doing a 16 mile run in the 90 degree weather. So that's a little bit about my experience, why I stopped running with music and some of those benefits. I found that I'm a lot more focused, I'm a lot more present, and I can execute my workouts a lot better when I don't have music. I would love to hear your experience on this, so please leave a comment below with how you felt running with and without music. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for liking and subscribing, and I'll make sure to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest in performance running.